You can ring Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. You can ring Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. Welcome to the Doug Bellcast. And now, here is your host, the star of Ring My Bell, Doug Bell. Hey, hey, another bell cast. Hey, 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 hey. Rise and shine, you early sh- uh, wakers. Time for the bell cast. We got a... Um, it's funny, like, I know you guys, like, you hear me every, <clears throat> you see me, you go, like, God, this bell's got, like, a lot of irons. Um, but I'm a horror film, a bit of a buff. Uh, you know, and I remembered, I seen, uh, I seen Steve King. I seen Steve King, I was out, um, he's doing a book signing. I, and uh, before the book signing, he's out having a... Uh, having a, uh, a cup of, uh, cup of coffee at the, uh, local coffee house. So I walk up and I see him. He's in there. He's in the back. There's like a back room by peek in there. And I see Steve King, you know, and I, you know, I'm, I, I got some horror movie ideas too. So I, uh, you know, I walk in there and I grab myself. Like I always carry my own, like a cup of Sanka with me in a thermos. So I kind of keep it under my jacket. Boom, boom, boom. I walk in the back. He's talking to somebody. They're looking at like a book proposal. And I walk in and I go, he looks up at me and I go, uh, hey, don't be scared. It's not a ghost. <laughs> it's not a ghost. <laughs> I immediately get him with that. You know, I pull out the thermos. Um, and I go, uh, I go, uh, I go, dude, where do you get your ideas? I wanted to start this on like a conversation between like two performers, like because I get my ideas, he gets his ideas, ba ba ba. Uh, but him and he goes, "Well, we're kind of having like a meeting back here." I'm like, "Dude, don't let, don't, uh, don't." I, I go, "Don't sweat it, forget." I said, <clears throat> "I go, <clears throat> I go, hey, Doug Bell, damn glad to meet you." Uh, I didn't even have the bell with me that day. It was so funny. I forgot the bell. That's another story. <laughs> uh, so I go like this. I go, and, and Stevie, I normally get a bell. I do that. He goes, what are you doing? I go, I, that's how I bring the bell, you know. Um, I go, first of all, uh, uh, I go, your move, your shiny movie was better than the, um, than the Stan Kubrick one. I go, that sucked. Because I didn't like it. I like Stephen King's TV version better. I thought that was so much scarier. And he goes, really? I go, yeah. I pull up the seat, you know, I go, don't mind if I do. I turn around and lean on the front, you know. Uh, that's what I do when I'm being like casual. Uh, I wish I would have had the bell though. It's such a cool look when I'm like leaning there and I'm like, but uh, I'm leaning on the front like that. And I go, yeah, I go, your version was so much better. <clears throat> I, I was nervous though, so I go, the way Jeff Torrance, and he goes, Jack. I go, all right. And I, no, I said, uh, he goes, Jack. I go, no, I'm Doug. He goes, Jack Torrance. I go, oh, all right. And, and I, I played it off though. I go, I, I got my smile. I, go, I was testing you. Uh, <clears throat> um, so I go, do what you ought to do. I said, like, how, I go, you don't, might not know this, but I would be so good as Pennywise. I go, that guy that plays him sucks. Uh, Cause I like the TV it better. TV version was so much better um, than the movie. But I have, I told him I always got a bell. So I go to him, I go, I would be so good. Cause I would come out and I would go, uh, uh, Hey, George. Yeah, ring the bell. <clears throat> <clears throat> hey, Georgie. Hold on a second. This is. Hey, Georgie. I'm Pennywise the Clown. 
I'm doing an impression for him, but I, I don't have the bell. I just had to show you the bell, like, how, like what it would look like. So I told him I'd make a tape and send it to him with the bell. I go, I would be so good to do that. Like, you kids, you are not, you are not going to make it out of here alive. I said, a lot of times the bad guys will point, but I pull in the, like, I take the evil and I pull it. You know, I told him this. And I'm doing it to his, um, I, 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 the literary agent. Because I got some ideas too. Like, I got uh, uh, like a really cool idea about like a, a demon for a cool store, like a demon. <clears throat> and uh, the demon's hosting like a supper party. There's a bunch of people over, like the local priest uh, and all the local like Kiwanis Club people. I'm telling this to Steve. I go, you got to get the picture. It's like dark, just cobwebs. I go, uh, and then I come out, right? I come out, but I'm like looking evil. Um, I, I might even walk like this. I tell him, I go, I'll be walking like all scary. And I go, I go, supper is served. And I just empty out a bag of legs. I tell him I got a big garbage bag of legs. Walk out like this, right? Supper is served. Don't put out like that. I asked him to uh, uh, about Carrie. I'm like, you guys gonna do a sequel? I asked him that too because I like that picture. That's really good. Like, why don't you do a a, a another one? You know, uh, that would be so cool though if my. Uh, if you like my, uh, I go, why don't you just do another one? That would be so cool to have a sequel to Carrie. Uh, like where she comes back up from the grave uh, and like is like a student again, you know, but people don't remember. I told him that'd be such a cool idea. And he's like, yeah, I don't know, but I gotta go. So I asked him to sign a couple of my books. I had like, uh, I bought like a, a duffel bag. I had like nine books in there. I'm like, could you sign these? He goes, nah, I'm doing it over at the signing and people waiting online. And uh, I go, dude, I'm giving you gold ideas here. I go, I, I, I remember I said to my, what if Pennywise asked you? Let's sign the, sign the books. I think I said to him as Pennywise, you know. Uh, sign the books, like fake ringing the bell. Uh, he got a kick out of it though, but he signed one. He signed one. Um, and I just went online. I sold it. It was like a twenty three ninety five book. I go, I got, I got Steve King right here. Uh, I sold it to, uh, uh, some guy. I wanted like 200 for it, but the problem with the signature said, uh, to Doug, I hope they bring back, ring my bell, keep writing, keep up the good idea. And he goes, this is too personal. I go, nah, but he's finally getting Doug. But anyway, the guy gave me twenty nine ninety five for it. So I made six dollars, but uh you know, it's how it is, you know. But Steve King is good he's a good writer. I told him that too. He seemed pretty like he was complimented that like somebody in the business like digs him. Um you know, people in the business are so crazy because I got so many stories. Like I seen Andy Cohn. You know Andy Cohn? I seen Andy Cohn. He's out. Uh, he's having supper one time. He's out there with uh, with Coop. He's out there with Anderson Cooper. So uh, they're at like Martha's Vineyard, and I was up there doing a gig. Uh, so uh, this is not too long. I walk in there, um, and I see him, and I, I probably I was a little drunk. I shouldn't have done. It. I go Coop. I start yelling Coop, you know, because I think it's so funny. He looks over, you know, um, and I see Andy Cohn with him and I walk right over I go I know I go hey things are about to get crazy because like he loves celebrity stories I, I got celebrity stories uh uh it was really cool I just plop right down boom Doug Bell glad bah, 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 shaking hands so that's how you got to do it because like if you wait around hey you could I sit or they're gonna probably get like nervous or, or scared or especially with like Coop because it's so political these days. But I, I came right with the tough questions because I told Andy Cohen, like, you want to help me get like, I'm really good with interviews, right? So I go, I go, Coop, uh, I go, don't shit me. Who are you voting for this year? This is back in uh, July of 2020 uh, or September, actually. Uh, I go, Coop, don't, don't shit me. Who are you voting for this year? He goes, well, I don't want to talk politics. I go, uh, I go, you voting for Trump? Or are you voting for, uh, I go for Joey B. 
I go, that's Biden. And you vote for Joey B. And I'm like, I ain't going to say nothing, but I'm like, who are you voting for? I asked Cohen the same thing, but they didn't want to talk about it because that's how political everybody's so scared. But I told them, uh, uh, I'm independent. Like, I just vote for whoever I feel like is the, is the, the best candidate to, so I said, uh, I said to Andy, like you got, I said, you problem with your show, Andy, if, I said, if, if, if I may be so bold, I go, is you, I said, the celebrity confessions, nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to hear like who a celebrity had sex with or who's doing drugs. I go, how about celebrity uh, wishes? I go do some celebrity wishes. That would be like a ratings grabber, like, you get a guy like uh, you get a guy like uh, Marky Mark on there. Well, what are your wishes? You know, see what he hopes comes true. That's what I would do. Like, uh, because the other thing is too negative. I go keep it positive. You know what? What are your wishes? Boom. Uh, but I told him that whole drinking thing he does, where you got to answer. I go do it. I I would just lie every time and, and get fucked up. Like you wouldn't even know it. Because uh, I I can't I handle my liquor. I mean, I was pretty toasted when I seen him. Two o'clock in the afternoon, I had like four vodka cokes. Uh, I ordered myself a vodka coke. And I was I'm joking. I go, Coop's got it, you know. Uh, but I had money with me. Mark, this venue is so expensive, though. Uh, so I was glad he goes, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, but they asked me, uh, they go, we're, we're kind of having a private thing. And I just, I, I go, you guys are a couple now? Like, because I know they had gone on a date. Uh, and I said, like, I'm not asking, like, because I think that's wrong or anything. I do, you guys are a couple, like a high powered couple. Uh, and I asked Coop if he might, can I break it? Like, could I, could I tweet it? Uh, and they go, no, no, we're just, yeah, they go like, come on, thank you anyway. You gotta, uh, you know, we're just talking here. But I, I tell Andy Cohn, I go, I go, uh, could we have met one other time, me and Cohn, out in, uh, <clears throat> out in, uh, up in Sandy Franning. Up in Sandy Franny, I'm up there doing a gig, boom, boom. You know, I'm walking, I'm, just, I'm doing rice aroni, hey, San Francisco, you know. Um, and there's the cars that go up the, uh, the middle of the road things, uh, whatever the hell they're called. The damn, uh, you know, the cars, the uh, train cars in the middle of the street, cable car. So uh, I'm getting off one because, you know, cabs are so expensive. And I see uh, a, a share. And uh, she's standing there, you know, being Cher. So I just, uh, I, I always thought like she was so, I was like, I was like, you were so much better when it was Sunny and Cher. Yeah, I wish I hadn't said that because I was like really, I was coked up. You know, I was like, you were so much better when it was Sunny and Cher. You know, I'm coked up and I was doing that. You know, I, I kind of regret it. Like, that was really rude of me to do. I shouldn't have done that. Um, you know, because she's sitting there in an outdoor cafe eating a piece of bread. I grabbed a piece of bread. I'm like, you know, you were so mean to Sonny. And, you know, there's no, you know, I'm doing a Coke thing in my mouth. You know, yeah, yeah, no good. Uh, I go, I don't even like, I, I go, uh, Gypsies, Tramps, and Thieves. Vicky Lawrence did it better. You know, I'm like, getting, you know, and I had the whole Vicky Lawrence fight. I didn't even tell her about that. I mean, Vicky Lawrence did it better. And I realized, Sherry, she's talking to Andy Cohn. So now I'm like, ah, boy. So I like, pull out the apology belt. Like, All right. I go, uh, I go, Coney, you got to understand. Like, I just, I'm not a fan. Uh, and then uh, the Mater D got rid of me there. But that ah, bullshit, you know, uh, you got to be honest. You got to tell people if you don't like something. Uh, but I seen her again after that. <clears throat> you know, I was... Uh, I seen her at a party one time and I go, look, I'm real sorry. And she goes, who are you? And I go, I seen you in Sandy Franny. Um, you know, cause at this party we're at, and she was sitting there with like five people in a corner chair. So I walk over and I was, I shouldn't have said it in front of everybody, but I'm like, I'm real sorry about that time. She goes, who are you? I go, I remember I was in Sandy Franny and I, I was telling you that you sucked and you were like better with Sonny Bono and Vicky Lawrence did a better uh, version uh of gypsies tramps and uh thieves uh and then the guy she's with goes that's the that's the guy like i guess they she had told her friends about me and, and she starts crying she was like that really hurt me um so like this year when she sent out the george floyd tweet about how she wished she was there everybody got really mad at her uh <clears throat> but i wrote her like uh i wrote her a letter and i go uh 
I'll bet if you were there, you could have helped share. Like I said that to her, like, just so she would know that Belle is, you know, like it, her things between her and Belle are okay. Uh, but you should have seen me with, uh, with Stevie Kenny. I was crazy. I'm doing it. It was vintage Belle, vintage Belle. Uh, you would have went nuts if you've seen it, but if you've seen Cher, tell her like, Hey, you know, I'm, I, I don't mean it, <laughs> you know, and, uh, you know, Coop's a good, he would tell me we voted for, I think he voted for a Democrat though. I think so. Like, you know, he didn't say it, but I could kind of tell, uh, like I asked him, I said, you're voting for Trump. And he, I guess he had something, you know, he, they kind of spit on the floor. So, uh, you know, but I think he voted for uh, Joy B. Uh, but anyway, it was, this was fun, man. I, I, if you see Coop, tell him, like, your bell still wants to know you voted for, you know. Uh, he'll get a kick out of it. And, or, or if you get the bell, go, hey, Coop, come on, Coop. You know, tell, uh, you know, tell Dougie. It was vintage bell, vintage bell. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> This is a lot of fun. Go get yourself like a cameo. I'll be happy to like make somebody's birthday or get yourself like another uh, shirt, bells, bells, you know, or something like that. Kells, bells, you know, <laughs> someone belling it. Uh, but don't forget, fly wild, stay gold. You can ring Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. You can ring Doug's bell, ring Doug's bell, Doug's bell, ring Doug's bell.